in the gap. They get past Gangulia does, so he's just going to escort it for a while before he picks it up. And does so. They'll get three. Very good running by Hayden. Excellent running. The front foot initially doesn't even uh, use that back foot of his. Just transfer of weight. He's in such good form that he hammers that through mid-wicket. Kept that down to rolling his wrist nicely. That's a shot of a man in there it is. Uh, in fact, it's Drive that's standing there. That one beats him, and it'll go for four. That's a lovely drive, too. This is much better. Nice uh, nice timing there from Hayden, and into the gap as well. Now, Zahir Khan must be thinking what he's done wrong here. It's not all that bad a delivery. It's just that Matt Hayden is in superb touch. Again, allowing the ball to come on to the bat. Concentrating on placement. Just easing it through the offside and second boundary of the over. Nicely played. That's whipped away beautifully by Hayden. He's now beginning to take charge here. So here uh, chasing that one at mid-off, but nowhere near it. Just one bouncing over the rope. Lovely shot. The inform Hayden comes down, goes inside out. He knows there's a man a long off, so he goes a lot wider than that. Didn't quite get it. Probably a legacy of the bat being a little bit sliced to get it away from long off. He wanted to get it more towards cover. So he just lost a bit of dip. He does that quite a lot, actually, Hayden. There he comes down the wicket again. That's his off century. That's very well played, Matthew Hayden. That's three in a row in the series. The only thing that uh, broke uh, that little consequence was the fact that he got uh, left out of the side. Not been a blasting innings by Matthew Hayden. Very steady one. And good for Australia. They've resorted back to the old theory of one-day cricket as to swans by Michael Slater in Chennai. Chipped it over on the leg side and has found a big gap on the leg side. The Australians really getting a move on now. Way on the offside. And uh, let's watch the fielding here again. And in comes the throw. That's good fielding. Ajita Gurkha down there. Uh, he's got a good arm. To a... Oh, and, uh, well, a little bit hard to know whether he actually scooped that up or not. But, uh, again, I think it's probably one of those that he hits into the ground. And uh, everyone here gets uh, nice and excited. pitch is he's got that fine this time he'll get the boundary he's got that fine this time he'll get the boundary the Australians going through a good patch at the moment clever batting there from Matthew Hayden And he's got that fine, and that will reach the boundary. That's well played by Hayden. You can already see, already see Tendulkar just trying to bowl a little slower. Just getting a little bit of curve on that occasion, which took the ball down leg side. Hayden really has uh, swept brilliantly on this tour, both in the test matches and the one-day games, and with a variety of sweep shots. be tempted to give Tendulkar one more over that's picked away in style that's gone all the way for six it also brings up the 200 well that was very very easy from Matthew Hayden no uh, no effort at all in the shot so once again that scoring rate improving, the 450 the quickest. Hayden deciding that Pony's got too far in front of him and he's going to catch up quickly. He's got that fine this time, he'll get the boundary. The sun is shining on the man uh, on the right, he's on strike. Hayden on 98. 
Here goes the sweep shot down towards the boundary. Will it be four? Will they come back for the second? Yes, he comes back, and that's his century. Matthew Hayden has registered his first one-day international century. He's already scored 200s and a 97 in the Test Series. This is a superb effort. Ah, oh, fabulous. And the crowd in India have seen Matthew Hayden at his best. Steve Waugh said that he should finish his Test career averaging 50. He said that about 18 months ago. He may be proved correct. Yes, very warm applause from the crowd. Uh, everyone here on their feet. Back for the second. This will be close. The throw is wide. Well, that's in the air, and that's into the gap as well. Another four. Devon ready on 12 or 13 balls. So there'll be a real sense of urgency about the running between the wickets. And, uh, of course, they'll be uh, rotating the strike. And it'll be up to Hayden now, who's starting to lose uh, his way a little bit. He's starting to lose his strength, I think, and uh, his focus. It'll be up to him to hit him. Oh, that's it. Uh, stump. Yes, uh, one got the feeling that Hayden uh, was pretty well finished. And uh, I think he tried to hit that one into the city centre. Really did wind up, missed it completely, and uh, he was nicely stumped. Well, it's been a nice 10 minutes or so for India. It'll be interesting to see how Australia coped for the next 10 and a half overs, but the wonderful form of Matthew Hayden has continued today. He's made 976 runs on this tour, and Mrs. Hayden can go and put the dinner on because her son is out. It's 246 for three.